Hello, long time no see. This is Ian Michael discussing on how you make and rebuild GDIs, which then you can rebuild and make proper working games for the serial port. We'll start here with the new release translation. If we go into the folder, you'll see that, that it's a standard GDI. Take the GDI on the extract rebuild tools and extract the image. As you can see here, the tools do it all for you. We're extracting the game files now. Once the game files are extracted, we can downsample, we can translate, we can modify to be rebuilt as a GDI to work on the serial port. Of course, all files that work on the serial port have to be the exact same downsampled as works on a CDR because they're actually, a CDR is actually slower than the serial port. I know, shock horror, but it is. The only reason you have problems on the serial port running GDIs is that they are full, unripped, not desampled, downsampled versions of the game. They're one to one rips. And of course, they will not work on a CDR and they will not work correctly for full motion video, AFF streams, music on a serial port because the serial port and the CDR are the same speed. Actually, the serial port's faster, less seek time, and actually uh, 666 kilobyte a second uh, streaming on a CDR is about 409 kilobytes a second with seek time. So we're getting through all that gumbo Hi to my Patreons and thank you for supporting me. Currently working on a project that you all will like, but it has left me very time strapped. So we're watching now and you can see that the files, it's extracting the files. Now, does this take a little while? Yes, it does. Okay, it's extracted. So now we can go into it and we can see all the files. Now this particular thing will not work on a CDR unless you downsampled all the files. So you'd have to find all the ADX streams, like I'm showing you. You'd have to downsample these to fit on a CDR. The movies, you'd have to downsample all these so they'd work correctly on the serial port or the CDR. So. Just say we make a change. We've made a change to our GDI. Now we take this here, drag and drop it on build, and it will rebuild with our changes ready to work on a GDMU or a serial port. As you can see now, I made one change because the person left a whole bunch of backup PVRs, the untranslated versions. So of course that pads out the size as well and it will never work on a CDR in its current form. So it is rebuilt. The tools to build GDIs and extract is included in the link description. This is Ian Michael, and I'll see you in a future video. Farewell.